Hello, I thought I'd do a quick video on OMC2. I have been playing this here and there over the past week or so since um, purchasing it. And this video is um, line 5 and 5 in Spando from Ruben to the Nerven Clinic. Um, so we're gonna get this uh, articulated bus going. And there's a whole laundry list of features that OMSI 2 offers, which I'm going to run through throughout this video. Um, just going to take a look around this new bus. It's the MAN NG272. Um, and I'm quoting the uh, feature list of OMSI 2 here with exact physics and graphic replica of the articulation mechanism and appropriate sounds and systems. Certainly sounds quite promising. And looks good too, I must say. They have improved the graphics engine slightly in OMSI 2, and I hear that it's been optimized a bit as well. Um, just looking up here, our first stop is Ruben at 1851, and the last stop is the Nerven Clinic um, at 1927. Now, I'm not going to stop at every single stop, well, I will, but I'm going to um, just cut bits out of the video um, just to run through it. Um, nice and quickly if I can. So let's crawl up to the first stop. I'm not going to run through all the features of the bus in this video but as I said this is the new articulated MAN NG272 and you'll get to hear and uh, see I guess the physics features that they've implemented on this bus in this video. I'm not exactly sure where I'm meant to stop here. I think I might have gone past actually. Anyway, here we'll do for now. Whoops. I have gone past. And I'm a bit further away from the curb. Tickets. This bus has an uh, electronic ticket printing machine. Just bear with me while I run through the options. You might have noticed just before there was a bit of sun glare. You'll notice that quite a bit in OMSI 2. The door physics are nice too. Up here there's actually an emergency release system and I can actually click and drag to open the doors. This actually disconnects it from the pneumatics I believe. Oops! I'm just going to hand it back over to the pneumatic system. Quite nifty. Just want to see that again quickly. Manual. Click and drag to open the door. And click and drag to close it. Kinda. And the acoustics are modeled very well as well. Alright, let's get going. way out of the first stop here. Um, now there's also more features in OMSI 2, um, just continuing to read the list, there's apparently simulation of diverse system failures which need time to repair. Um, and I have noticed a few errors actually or fa almost failures with the bus as I've driven along. Um, it's gonna hang right here and already you can hear the squeaks and groans from the articulated system there. Let's have a look here. It's the articulated system in action. I actually wonder if I can port this bus back to OMSI 1. I don't think that's quite possible though. It'd be nice. I've just got the route markers on because this is a whole new route to me. You'll see there's reflections and shadows and all that sorts of um, fancy effects going on that you won't see in OMSI 1. Okay, give it some beans. 
This bus has a four speed automatic transmission. A bit of a step up from the uh, from the other manned buses in OMSI which had the three speed transmissions. This bus also has ABS and I believe traction control as well. There's a bit of that sun glare again. Just gonna do this, make this quick run today. Emergency vehicles are modeled as well. That sun glare going on. I might actually um, pull down this visor a bit. Oh yes, old people and children are now modelled as well. Hello. <laughs> old ladies sound funny. Dankeschön. Hallo. Einmal normal bitte. Mhm. Don't know if you can see this, but the cursor movements seem a bit off in the video. I believe that might be something to do with fraps. Anyway. These little little buffer things here are interesting. You can actually click and drag on them to open them, close them. All right. Ah. Back down. It's going to pull out here in a sec. This truck. So the Spandau map is actually part of OMSI 1 but I've never really driven it um, that often in OMSI 1 to be honest uh, I quite en enjoy this map as well uh, from what I've seen so far the only thing I don't really enjoy is that it's not very hilly and not very challenging I guess um, in, in that way but um, I'm sure you can load up the traffic and uh, throw some weather in there and really have some interesting uh, challenging journeys So there's actually original timetables simulated on this map for the bus routes 5 and 92. There's also construction sites and things like that that are modelled. You can actually step through the years of Spandau um, till uh, from 1986 to 94 apparently. And you can see how construction and road works and all that sort of thing take place on different parts of the map apparently. I'm just testing out the articulation system here. Giving it a bit of gas with the brakes on. Whoa. Don't actually want to break it. Just want to test it. Let's try it a little bit more. They've done a pretty good job as you can see on the physics. OMC2 is meant to be 100% quote unquote downward compatible um, but there have been reports on the forums, uh, complaints if you will that this may not be the case uh, at least not yet anyway I do believe there is a patch in the works for a few issues but as you can see um, at the moment it's running quite well for me I can't really comment on a frame rate perspective. I'm running the graphics about mid to high settings, I guess. Traffic's not on that high, uh, but I've got all the whiz bang shadows and visual effects going. Um, and although these maps are quite a bit more um, intensive than Omsi 1, the FPS hasn't really improved. Uh, it's probably on par, I guess, with Omsi 1. But no real complaints for the time being. There's apparently a memory saving map loading procedure in Omsi 2. Oops. Look at the road. That technically allows for very large maps. So 
sorry. So again, that's a new map loading process that apparently is meant to optimize the running of the game. It is slowing down a bit as you can probably see now though. I'm actually running an i7 um, 2700K 8 core processor for virtual cores. 16 gigabytes of RAM. And a GTX 570. Uh, 2 gig, I believe. Graphics card is getting a bit dated now, but uh, by all means, seems to run most games fine. Also, um, there's improved and extended AI traffic, improved driving and steering precision, trains and subways apparently in Oxy 2. The effects are actually quite nice, um, by no means cutting edge, but the simulation, uh, the physics, the sound, um, second to none, I guess you could say. And we're almost there at the Nervern Clinic, which is the last stop. To sum up, Apparently OMSI 2 gives you even more realism, more buses, more Spandau and dozens of new features. Uh, too early for me to sort of make my mind up about this. I have bought it um, on Steam and um, I'm not complaining. It's a good little uh, simulation for the time being. I'm still um, playing OMSI 1 though due to the um, amount of add-ons and things like that. I've actually downloaded the City Bus. 0305 add-on the Mercedes-Benz bus for OMSI 1 so you can expect that soon I'm just going to wrap up now at the last stop here thanks for watching and hopefully there will be more OMSI 2 and OMSI 1 again soon